I will demonstrate how to add layers of wool to a miniature donkey. These techniques can be adapted for any long furred animal. Join me on my journey from preparation to finish starting with carefully needle brushed leg fibres, then fluffy tummy and long textured back fur. You'll also see how we create a middle parting on the donkey's muzzle and add a long fluffy fringe and a beautiful flowing mane. of Victory Love and on this channel I will teach you the techniques to create cute and realistic animals. If you would like to become more confident to have a set and advance your skills be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. In this video you will learn attachment of soft tummy fur using technique one a few ways of blending colours, how firm your cool wool should be, layering of thick fur across the torso again using technique one, tips for preventing flattening of fibres and positioning your animal whilst felting, and adding fur on the rump techniques one and two. So I've done the legs, so I'm going to move on to the tummy now. I've done a little bit of cream here, and I want the tummy to have quite a bit of cream. I've started off putting some cream, you can see, right at the top of the leg, and I'd like some cream belly fur just down here. And then we'll be working on making this area, and then following up with the back. Now, as I said earlier, the reason we do it this way first is so that later on when the lovely fibres are on here we're not kind of squashing on that to try and get these ones. Now your donkey might want to fall over at this point I'm just going to use um, a mug, my little cat mug, just to rest onto there. there we go. And I want to use this, this kind of creamy colour and just a little bit of my usual donkey colours as well. So just use a little bit at a time and I'm going to do along this line here. So starting with the bow shape as we did before. As you, I'm doing this quite a lot longer than on the, the legs. I want to get some really fluffy, lovely, soft belly fur. So just start on here like we would do before and needling into the belly in various directions. This merino wool is, is quite soft so it will take a little bit of felting. There we go. Just to fluff it up a little bit. Taking the next piece, I'm going to do the next piece here. Bow shape, straight down the middle. I already have a bit of a dint in the donkey's belly, so I can kind of see where the central line is. It's quite hard to see this because I've already got the core wool here. It was Corridor core wool and it was very cream to start with so it's not quite so easy to see this going on. There we go. We're just adding now the layers. <clears throat> and I also want to put some of my donkey fur in here. fold it over again. And then you can mix these colours quite well. 
and as I kind of brush them through you can see that they're kind of mixing nicely and let's take another piece of my my brown bring it to the middle like a bow put it to the side as with the other one so I'm going laying it this way so that I can work this way layering over each of the previous layers this will go in a lot easier than when you're doing the leg because it's quite soft already this it's, it's kind of medium felt so it's not tough and it's not too soft And then I'm going to take another piece of the green. I'm just going to show you how I do this area now. When I'm off camera, I'll just carry on with the green and the, the brown, just kind of starting this baseline here. I'm just going to bring it up to this level now and I'm just going to show you. So I want the cream to come to about here um, and then go up to about here. So I'm just going to put this in place. quite like that length it's a really nice fluffy length so um, when it's eventually done it'll be kind of coming out just a little bit around the tummy edge there So I've done the middle with the white sea cream and I've started putting the darker colour here. Now if you don't want it to be a block of brown then a straight block of white what you can do is what I've started doing here is taking very small pieces and with the technique I showed you earlier instead of doing the fold over to make it quite thick I just want very small tufts to blend in with the white here. So if I take a small piece and put it in there, with the top end I'm just going to twist it around. And let's do the other side. And then what you can do is you can, once that's in place, just brush into the white to kind of mix the, the layers up. So you'll get a few little loose bits, but that will just make it less harsh. You might want to then get a little bit of the white and do the same thing. So that you've got a few kind of layers and you can see the, the brownie cream shining through. So that's the kind of effect that I want to get. Now if you find this is too long you can give it a little bit of a trim. I just want it to be maybe about here um, in this kind of shape. Again snipping away from my scissors. The other way you can do it is to, if you want to get more of a jagged kind of end, you can actually cut into the layers and just pull those excess bits off. Okay. doesn't really matter how you do it, um, you'll just find that you'll find the effect that you want to get eventually. 
and then I'm going to place some brown around here and Okay. The other thing you can do to make sure that the colours blend well and don't go from just one colour just to the next is you could mix in a bit of the cream with the gingery brown as well, like so, and then use that. Here are a few pointers on how firm you need to have your core wool before you put the fur on. Now if your core wool is too soft you will find that as you put on the fur and as you needle in it will be too soft and it will kind of dint in and you'll end up having lots of lumps and bumps and you'll end up actually having a smaller animal than you wanted. If it's too hard however you'll find that you won't be able to actually dig in and if, it, if you're constantly felting into that same area it'll just get harder and harder and harder and you won't be able to actually manipulate the shape so well. So the idea is to have it kind of medium firm as you can see with this one um, there's a little bit of a push but not too much of a push. So when we take the piece of wool I'll just show you here so you were putting it in here it should still keep its shape but not sink in too much and it will make a nice kind of crispy sound so, and as and you'll find that if it was too soft as well, it would pull out quite easily. Whereas it's quite compact to start with, it's going to stay in properly as well. Okay. So before we move on, what animal are you going to try these techniques on? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to show you how we're going to continue with the fur, starting from the back leg here at an angle, going towards the shoulder here. Then we'll be turning over and very carefully, so it doesn't felt too much on the side that you've done, we're going to lay it carefully and then from the back leg again, going in this angle towards the shoulder. When we get to this part here, we will then start from the back, start from the bottom and then work all the way towards the head. I'm going to be using two needles at the same time just to make it a little bit easier when, when you're doing the body.
Okay, I'm just going to show you that I've wanted this to be really quite thick to build up the tummy area. So I've done quite a few layers upon layers upon layers. And I've got to this bit now. I'm using a single needle just to shape this into place. Okay, so it's really quite fluffy and I just want to define the belly. So I'm just moving my needle away from myself in the direction that the fur is going and just stabbing it in like so. And that's a lovely shape belly there, if you can see that. I want to be nice and rounded, nice fat <laughs> belly there, well healthy donkey. There we go. So I think actually now I've come to this point I'm going to then turn it over very carefully and I'm going to be doing the same on the other side. I'm going to do that off camera and come back to you. I've done both sides of the donkey so roughly about the same on this side and that side. What I want to do is I like to work up to kind of a line here so that all of the work underneath the donkey is done first, all under the neck here, all these parts and the rump before I turn over and then do the final fur down here. So the next bit I'm going to do is the, the rump bit here and then underneath the neck here. Now, although this should help not to fluff up the fur too much, something that I have been doing quite a lot of is using just a plastic sheet, um, just a plastic bag. I use the ones that my wool comes in and you can use that rather than getting fluffed up on your sponge board it just means that you know if it slips um, it's not going to fluff it up too much so if you need to turn it over onto any of the fur while you're working it just means you're not going to get it felted and matted during the process just a little tip when positioning your donkey to do the fur on its backside. I'm going to move the plastic over the edge and I'm going to hold the donkey like so just to get a better angle here. When I come to do the neck I'm also going to do something quite similar in holding my donkey over the edge like this and then I'm able to get to this area quite easily. To do the rump then, I'm going to keep the fur fairly short and very close to the core wool. So when we did the tummy, it was very chunky, very fluffy, lots and lots of layers. I want to keep this fairly thin. I don't want a massive rump like with the tummy, I just want it fairly thin. So I've got my wool all cut up ready in the right kind of size. I'm going to take smaller pieces and then I might not even need to do the, the doubling over. I might actually do the, the single way of doing it, um, but I'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start right here, aim towards this area. I won't do the top part because I would be doing that later when I come on to do the longer fur. So I want to keep it fairly short and fairly close. just going in with my needle to make the shape. So that one, because I used 
quite a small amount of the wool I could actually do the doubling up but I'm just going to see how it goes as I go these are too long I can also cut them a bit shorter. In fact I'm thinking these are a little bit long so I'm going to snip and change lengths again. I think that's better so I'm going to use that all over here starting from here and coming to about here. I've continued to put the long fur on the donkey in the same way that I've been doing the, the, the fur here. I've done the back side and I've turned it over to do the, the neck under here and started on the face so in the same way that I've been doing it before I've just literally just been layering on lots of layers of the fur and I've used a twizzling kind of technique on the t the uh, neck here uh, just to make it really fluffy and lovely. So we're going to move on now to the, the longer furs starting from here on the back side moving towards the neck and then we'll do the ears and finish off with the face. <laughs> 